Okay guys, so I got my new axle, titanium, got my new uh, clutch, and my new gear. I'm going to have to use those little lock washer, not washers, whatever the fuck they're called. I'm going to have to use some of them to hold these down and all that. Um, and sadly, these bearings I got, all of them are just a hair too small for this axle. So right now it's just kind of leaning on there so I can line everything up. Um, but I need to work on boring out the inside here. I've got this one kind of going. Um, it's going to take a minute. So I got to get two of them bored out at least and I'm going to bore out the other two. And I've lost the cover for this that attaches the filter, so I gotta find something work as one temporarily to be able to redirect the airflow from over here. Um, the gear is pretty well. Oh, that's a little stiff. Okay, uh, the gear is outside right now. I'm working on drilling on it, but currently gotta pause that and I got all the bolts and things wherever they are whole bag of bolts just for that we it's about as much as one of these tires um, and basically nothing nothing is uh, really on here right now it's all just kind of bare bones so if I wanted to, I could kind of like uh, shake everything off. So yeah, um, this is kind of just the bare bones of it all um, on the bottom end here. I'll probably need to cut this up across here and set up a new tensioner for the um, chain because I'm going to be running a 420 across here and a 420 across the other side. Um, it will add a bit more weight, but... I figure it'll be more durable and get more power output and because I'm bypassing the uh, the standard clutch because this is a, like a mini bike if a kids pocket bike engine I am going to be welding this sprocket to that clutch right now it's just bolted down real tight to it but it still works like if I pull this you see it still moves like it should so I just need to weld it up in there and then the chain's gonna run from here back to the gear on the one side and over so I bypass one clutch which is about um, a two to one torque converter and then I also bypass the connection for that clutch had come from about right here over to the um, end gear right here to be able to enter the jack shaft into the transmission that was about a um, three to one roughly so I'm reducing a lot of its power but I can alternately because I'd be on third gear back there and it'll still be able to run pretty well from a stop and because I have pedals on here and I mean I don't need pedal ever as is I figure doing this, I raise my top speed and um, have less parts to wear, and I'll also be able to get more power to the tire. And um, I think it'll look cooler. Uh, eventually, what I'm going to do is on I I um I got to figure out where exactly I'm doing it, but somewhere off either the jack shaft. Or off the side of the engine I want to set up a charger that will be on top of it to uh, give a forced induction so I can get more power out of it and I also want to get into casting because if I can cast my own parts I'm gonna just cut off all, all the fins on these that I get and um, pack them and make a little thing on it so I can cast it to or recast it basically keep the cylinder but cut off the fins and 
recast the whole thing so it has side walls for a uh, water to be a water cooled cylinder. And if I can do that, I'll probably have um, the I'll probably have a the radiator set up somewhere right up here under the fuel tank, but that's all just kind of right now in just theory. Um, let's see what else? I've still yet to change out this uh, plastic T section for the uh, brass over here, and. Pretty soon, I will most likely have to switch out to the next filter from this one to this. Cannot find any inner the, any of the filter pieces that go inside of these, so for the time being, I'm gonna swap out for this. And I kind of like the look of this, being able to see the fuel and all that, and uh, the black, silver, white kind of goes well with the whole frame. Uh, I do need to clean it up. I do need to get a new. Um, fender, mudguard, whatever you want to call it, off the back here, and one off the, for the front. I also need work on finding a uh, passenger seat here to cover my auxiliary fuel tank and all that. Um, I glued down the um, flexible um, mirror so that it would not keep uh, going loose on me after a couple of rides. I found a glove that's specifically for my left hand. Yeah. Um, that'll help out a lot with riding. And I also plan on putting an alternator, a real power generator, off the back here that will come up into the system here so that um, it'll be, most likely it'll be a belt drive or something, a little rubber band or something because it's just a little motor, but um, I'm going to try and have like one or two little generators set up off this so that I don't have to have a battery pack like this for anything like the headlights or anything. I mean, it works if it's charged, that is, it, it will work. Yeah, see, it, it works. And it's, I mean, it's rather bright. So it, it definitely works, but I would like to have it to where I don't have to worry about running out of power whenever I'm out of town because I haven't pulled over for it. I'll be out in the middle of the night, try and get home. The battery's fully run out and all that, and, and then I'm fucked. Um... I also need to switch out to new forks anyway, so I can put on my front brake disc like I have the back one. So, I mean, good braking power is always good. Um, and I also need to uh, sometime figure out a way to make um, a two socket piece, so like a three piece exhaust pipe, because of this tiny little section right here, it's really hard to get that even that flexible. flexible um, easy to uh, move around and get into tight spots. It's hard to get that through here sometimes. Um, so what, and it don't offer as much power and because I have this whole cavity down here other than where the gear is over here. What I'm planning on doing is having the first piece be like a manifold. It'll be the just the exit part of the engine where it comes down from here to about here and I'll have a socket to where I fit in a pipe a little a expansion chamber right and I fit it on there tighten it down and it'll hopefully I do come up here a little bit and then come down to a stinger come out and be able to socket on the um, muffler or take it off if I'm doing something where I want just a little bit less uh, back pressure don't care about the noise um, until I manage to be able to get this set up as water cooled I just took a piece of steel 
cut it up and made it as a little plate to help uh, protect the airflow alongside this, um, which needs to be repainted. Um, yeah, it's, it's a work in progress so far, but um, that's the update for now. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get those bearings figured out, and then I'll be able to weld up one gear, and the whole transmission will be just fine. Oh, it did. It picked you up. Huh? Anyways, guys, until the next one.